shots ringing out on a busy South Haven beach. Three people involved in a shooting on the South Pier as a crowded group of beachgoers looks on. News 8's David Horak is live on the scene for us tonight. David, what are you learning? Well, Brian and Whitney, it all started this afternoon at about 2.20, and that is when police sources tell us that that shooting happened right behind me on the South Pier in South Haven. Now, our cameras overlooking South Beach happened to capture the scene as it was unfolding. Video showed one person approached two others on the pier. One of the two fell to the ground and did not move again. The other also fell and was later rushed away by emergency medical teams. Then the first person that we that I just mentioned walked around the pier for about another minute before also falling to the ground as captured on our South Beach camera. We do not have any confirmation on deaths, identities, or possible motives at this time. Michigan State Police, who is helping South Haven Police in this investigation, told us no officers fired any shots since arriving. And what's even scarier is that it's a Friday afternoon in the middle of summer at one of Michigan's more popular beaches. So just think about how many many people could be here at that point in time. And we did actually have that same South Beach camera capturing people fleeing the beach, some even hiding behind flood barriers to take cover. And we spoke with some people at the nearby concession stand as they saw everything unfolded. We we're making orders like normal and then turn around. I see people running, just hundreds of people running and screaming and then I run to step out to ask people like, hey, what's going on? They're like, we don't know, we don't know. And then all of a sudden we hear five to six more shots fired and that's when we run to, to find safety. And that's when I call my mom, like telling her like crying, like, hey, there's this shooting going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm just freaking out. I was shaking, scared. Silver lining is that investigators confirmed the area is no longer in active threat. But coming up at about 530, we will be hearing from the South Haven Police Department on new details, and we will forward them as soon as we get them over at woodtv.com and, of course, later on tonight on the air. For now, we are live in South Haven. David Horak, News 8. All right, David, staying on top of that investigation as it's unfolding in South Haven tonight, we appreciate that live report.